Hey, what's happening? This video is a tutorial on how to get your level one USDA plant import through the USDA to bring multiple plants, a large volume of plants. If you're ever thinking about bringing them from overseas, um, <clears throat> this is a faster way to get them to you. So stick with me. I'll tell you all about it. How's it going? My name is Gerard. I'm an exotic plant collector. I like plants. Um, this channel is all about plants. And uh, in this video, like I said, I'm going to teach you how to uh, successfully get your level one E permit through the USDA website. Real easy, really smooth. Um, there's a bunch of uh, different phone numbers you can call because the USDA people are pretty cool. I've been talking to them back and forth. Um, everybody there is just awesome um, so just check it out but um, walk with me I want to tell you what you need to do to get your e permit so that means you're getting your permit online you don't need to go to one of their offices or anything like that this is basically you can do this today or tomorrow whenever you want to do do it you can basically um, <clears throat> get a permit online um, the first step is what I want to take you. I'm going to actually take you with me on the uh, <clears throat> website. We're going to type in USDA APHIS, A P H I S, and USDA APHIS should pop up. <clears throat> gov it should look something like this. United States Department of Agri Agriculture up top and what we're here to do is hopefully you see it on the popular topic but you can just type in plant imports because we're wanting to import a plant um, but other things that the USDA does they tell you about all things that are invasive to certain ter you know in the US so there's a lot of good information on here if you want to check them out you want to help stop hungry pests you can stop that just things that you can do to stop the spread of uh, invasive uh, plants and animals in your homeland but what we're here to do is get some imports so we're going to click on imports and exports if you want you when you get to this page you can uh, pretty much click on plant plants or plant products or you can just click on permits but since we're on this place we're going to click on plants or plant products because they want to know what are you importing into the United States so they just want to know what's going on um, so we're going to go it'll bring me to this page plant health and import information now, once again, this USDA product, they are basically at all of our airports. They have like different uh, stations uh, at the airports. So this is just a faster way to get a plant <clears throat> to you because you give them a heads up and let them know what's coming so that everything can be timely and it can arrive at your door a little faster. So next thing we're going to click on is permits. We're going to go to plants and plant products permits. Then uh, <clears throat> we're going to go to PPQ587 and then go to, we're going to ultimately plant, kick on plants and planting with uh, seeds included. And next, if you want to read through all this, this is all good, but we're just trying to apply for a spider certificate. And once again, there's a bunch of numbers and contacts you call during business hours you definitely talk to these people they can help you whatever you know for whatever question that you have because I've you know I had tons of questions and these people help people help me out pretty greatly so call give them a call if you want to <clears throat> they're very helpful the next thing we're going to click on is apply for a permit then we'll go to another page and uh, <clears throat> Like I said, you can do it right now on your computer. So we're going to get an e-permit. 
and then that will bring us to another page where we would have to register as new users to get an e permit so and then they go in a couple detail <clears throat> because once you get your e permit that's your level one clearance or level one acceptance to get your level two where you could actually conduct transactions and conduct business you know conduct um, processes and shipments and imports and exports with uh, the USDA when you're dealing with plants so if you want to ship stuff out or ship break stuff in this will link you better to them so they can have an idea what you got going on they know who you are because when I did the level two the information was pretty uh, <clears throat> they definitely know who you are and they want to since you're not actually talking to them um, they ask some really questions that you you know hopefully won't won't shock you <laughs> but things that they know about you uh, <laughs> that you're wondering how they know but like I said it's a verification online so they'll ask you some questions and you'll click and that's how you'll register your authentication but back to your level one so once again you're gonna register and you're going to get, be taken to this page and then this page is another registration where it gets down to the registration so it's you're clicking through a lot of pages but you're gonna end, end, end up here for the e authentication login and that's when you're going to register then you're going to do more clicking <laughs> and once again you're, you're you're getting your level one so you have to get your level one first to get your level two okay so you have to get your level one and this is basically a level one is you're just generating all information about you and things like that and you have your login so remember your password and your login um, and uh, once you get your level one you can do the e-certification and you'll have to log in again and they'll tell you how to get your level two I'll start to go over that long as I'm, I'm actually I just got my level two so uh, like I said they asked me some questions that only I should know about you know my life um, and that's all done online uh, what else we got for you I think that's pretty much it guys so uh, if you have any questions <clears throat> leave them in the comment section below but this is all about bringing plants from other countries back to the USC USA <clears throat> and just making the process faster less hassle and every you know you're up to date with the laws and just the protection because when you do ship your plant from one part to another they kind of don't want the soil to be on the plants because the soil has uh, <clears throat> bacteria and things like that that may be in the soil and could disrupt the way of life of uh, the homeland you know US you know the USA so they check for pests they don't want any soil on your on your roots or anything like that and uh, <clears throat> They just make sure it's pretty much pest free and then it's a go if you have any questions let me know in the comment section below hope this was helpful for you um, don't forget to check me out at Gerard's horticulture culture and uh, keep growing <clears throat>